about last week? Tell us about that game you had last week. Um, me personally or as a team? No, we'll start with you and then we can get to the team. Um, uh, it was a okay game. Uh, career high, but honestly, I feel like I didn't play how I play every other game. I was just trying to do too much. Uh, I really wanted that win, so I was trying to. I feel like it was more of a doing too much than not enough. You know, uh, that's why I feel like I turned the ball over uh, at the two, which was big. But it wasn't because I I didn't know what to do. I was just trying to do too much, just trying to get that touchdown, trying to get that spark, trying to get us going. And uh, but it wasn't a, a terrible game, but I feel like I could have played better. As a team, we got our first win, and that's great. That's huge. Uh, we need that. And now that the young guys know what it's like to win, and they can just build on from that. You know, some some of the freshmen had never heard of the wobble song. You know, now that they know what it's like to win, we can go do that again this week. How about the old guys like you? What does that mean to you? Man, it's, it was great. Like I said, I've uh, I've never lost that many games in a row. So to get a win, and it feels like that's what we should be doing. You know, all the hard work we put in. So it felt great for the other guys. You got really close to busting a few of the kickoffs, and I know you haven't had that many opportunities this year, but you've gotten really close in a few of them. Mm -hmm. Is it frustrating that you haven't been able to bust one yet? Uh, yeah, a little bit, because I really want the record. But uh, honestly, I. I kind of since the beginning of the season when I uh, talked to other teams, they were just saying like, you know, we're we're trying to kick it away from you. So I was like, okay, I understand that. But I've gotten close a few times, which is which is good, but not good enough because, like I said, I want the kick return record, of course. Do you feel like Jason that your presence out there though is still making an impact because of field position when they don't kick to you and just pooch it towards somebody else? Right. Yeah. Definitely. If we're gonna give us to us at the thirty-five or that's or. Better than that, then that's fine. Uh, okay. As long as we get the good field position, because the better field position is, the more points we score, the more like likely chance we got to score. Then that's fine with me. Are you surprised at this point when you do get a chance to to return it? When you see it coming your way? Yeah, it, it shocks me. Uh, <laughs> Cause uh, I know they watch film on me, but uh, honestly, I'm happy at the same time. I'm like, okay, this is your chance. You can go do it. So yeah, it shocks me a little bit. You guys obviously this is give a chance to beat UTEP for a third time in a row mm -hmm. uh, as a senior. What, what would that mean for the go out for three straight over them? Oh, that's big. Uh, that rival, that battle our team is always huge. So uh, to have the bragging rights before I leave, that would mean a lot to me. Does it feel different having a game like that so late in the season when you're playing UTEP in November? Um. I'm yeah. We never played them that this uh, this late, but uh. Honestly, I think the energy is still there, though, uh, for the – just because, you know, it's about the I-10, right? It's always big. I feel like it's going to bring out a big crowd. Everybody's going to be excited. Just got to go out there and play. Does it change anything in terms of the intensity? Obviously, the records for both teams are when you – either you guys want them to be, but does that change the intensity of the rivalry at all? Uh, I feel like it's always pretty intense when uh, you tip. But, um, yes, of course, we want this win bad. Uh, to go out with three straighter wins would be great for that senior class, though, because, like I said, they put a lot of work in. Groves, you have anything for Jason? Jason, um, was, was your freshman year against UTEP, was that your first start? Yes, sir. Uh, my first. Yeah, um, and you lost that game, so to, to, to kind of, like, get over the hump against UTEP, and, and also you guys had a streak against UNM as well when you were here, like, Cause what does that say about this group of seniors? Like they've gone from you guys had lost eight in a row to UTEP before your senior class came here. So, like, what does that say about the growth of the program that you were able to, you know, beat these rivals? Oh yeah, we were uh, drawn a lot. Like you said, we lost eight in a row. Uh, my freshman year, we played and uh, they had Aaron Jones, which really couldn't really stop them. But uh, from then on, we just. We kind of took up on ourselves that like we won't. We will try our best to beat UTEP and UNM. Uh, but uh, that's that's great. It's great for us uh, that senior class because that showed that we grow and uh, we got each other back. Because like you said, this would be if we win, this would be our third time beating them, which hasn't been done much. And then just lastly, uh, 
In terms of, do you touch defense? Uh, have you had a chance to see much film on him yet? Do you have kind of a scouting report of what you're expecting? Um, seeing a little bit of it, but uh, I really know after this week to what I should expect. But like you said, a lot of three down, switch to four down. So uh, honestly, I think we should be able to run the ball. But uh, I'll look into him this week and find out.